Welcome back to our romance series. We are Kim and Del Hogg, sharing films of our road trips, hikes and outdoor adventures from around the world with you, along with detailed travel guides over on our blog, goingthewholehog.com, to help you get out there and explore these exact same places for yourself. In the last episode, we set off south of Muscat to explore some of the country's most beautiful wadis, went off-roading through the eastern Hajar Mountains, where we wild camped next to some incredible 5,000-year-old beehive tombs, and we also find ourselves making an unexpected 200km detour back to Muscat thanks to some camera issues. Join us as we head off from Muscat once again, with a new microphone in tow, to explore the western Hajar Mountains just a couple of hours north of the capital, where spectacular mountain camps, scenic villages and peaceful wadis await. Plans for us in the next few days. We shall see. So mm -hmm. I think you need to give me more directions, Kim. Oh, contrasts with the rust colour as well. I mean, there's here. It's right next to the road, but... Yeah, uh, it's right next to the road. Let's keep looking for a bit. Wow, what day 
these views. Amazing. <gasps> We made a last minute decision to come about 350 metres up a dirt track to get amazing views over the bowl down there. It's a little bit windy uh, and a little bit colder than it is down there, but we've got the gear so we decided we may as well go for it and there'll be amazing views in the morning. So get the tent set up now. Let's hope there's good views because we just missed sunset. <laughs> there's always good views. they're not waiting in a passing place waiting for you to come. Were they far away or I didn't see A little see bit them. further up. Give them a peep to say come on. Oh, I, mean, I wouldn't really want to do that with the rocks and everything. <laughs> what does that mean? Well if there's like a danger of falling rocks you're not supposed to use your horn. Chinchayo? Yeah. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right well I'm pretty sure. Ah oh, there we go. Hmm. We've arrived at 
Wukan, Wakan, Wikan, Wekan. I've seen it spelt with every single vowel that there is. Uh, so the only definite is that it starts with a W and ends with a can. And it's a nice little mountain village, so we're going to go and have a little wander. We are stopping early today so that we can enjoy this view plus Dell's a wee bit tired so why not just have a, a more relaxing day. That's cracking, it's like we've got our own little uh, mini canyon. And Dell, I can see a lot of dead wood around so we can have a fire tonight I hope. Nice.
Just had a quick nap. Uh, early starts and a few late nights are getting to us, but feeling a bit more awake. Have a spot of lunch and uh, we're going for a wee walk um, up through this village and the plantation. Are you making coffee too? I can do, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Was that Glenn? Exhausting. Especially for someone as unfit as I am right now. And in this heat, you know. And I don't think my stomach enjoyed that feta cheese much. It's giving me jib. eventually found the gorgeous green pool for swimming uh, but it's too late for us to have a swim now. We were expecting this to be a two hour return hike instead it was nearly two hours one way so <laughs> we're just gonna have to turn around and absolutely hoof it back to the car now and I suspect we're gonna be looking for a campsite in the dark tonight but as long as we can make it back when it's not dark that's fine because we didn't bring any head torches or our usual hiking gear because I thought this was gonna just be like a bit of an easy easy hike up the wadi. It's the full moon tonight. That's true, we can hike by moonlight girl. I really fancy to swim. I don't know. As usual, just always running late, us two. It's a nightmare. I had one activity planned for today. I thought this was like an absolute winner. Gonna have loads it of didn't time. start until 2.20. <sighs> well, how did that happen? We left camp at like 10. No, 9. We left camp at 9 o'clock this morning. How did we not even start this hike? Well,
going. Keep Let's going. see what it's like at the back. I want views, Dell. I want views. Big reveal. Okay, but we don't want to start going down. No. Unless there's. That's quite the view. The yeah. Okay, let's go this one just here to the left and then we're close to the view, right? Yeah. Turning, <laughs> turning at the top of a dirt road pass. Yeah. Just as well, the traffic is light. This one? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have such cracking views. But you know what that means, Del? Another 6 a.m. alarm. Pretty slopey. Is it? Is it? What does this feel like to you? <laughs> it like a oh, slope. we'll find a flat bit. Don't you fuss yourself. Thanks for watching. We will leave you here at this gorgeous mountain camp, but join us in the next episode to see more from the Western Hajar Mountains. We go for a chilly dip in Little Snake Canyon, explore a beautiful 500 year old cliffside village and tackle the most challenging mountain roads that we've ever been on in Oman. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell to see more from the series. And if you've enjoyed this episode enough to still be watching right now, then we do hope you'll hit that thumbs up button. Drop us a comment down below to help us grow this channel and continue making content for you. An extra special thank you to our patrons. If you too would like to join our Patreon community, check out the link in the description down below. Bye for now.